We are embarking on a two-day, one-night trek through the dense jungles of Phang Nha National Park, Vietnam. So we've been hiking through some dense jungle. It's rained on us quite a bit, but I feel like we're getting a true experience. To explore the second largest cave system in the world. <laughs> Throughout the journey, we'll be pushed to our limits, scrambling through razor-sharp rocks, hiking for hours in torrential rain, and slipping our way through the muddy conditions to explore what may be one of the most unique cave systems in the world. So stick around for a grueling yet awe-inspiring hike to explore some of the world's largest caves while catching a few laps along the way. We started our journey into Phang Nha National Park by hiking 2.5 kilometers through peaceful limestone mounds. So we did not anticipate coming on this hike. We just found it while we were here. So I am sporting some lovely Oxalis gear. Yeah. And met some friendly water buffalo. <laughs> well, peaceful until the rain came in full force. It is pouring. We're like five minutes in. <laughs> I can't even like see. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun though. It's beautiful. I just can't see like a foot in front of me, so. It's beautiful in its own rainforesty way. Yeah, <laughs> rainforest. I get it. Yeah. These boots really did absolutely nothing to keep my feet dry. Yeah. He's leaving me. <laughs> Bye. We came up to the Rao Nan River, which thankfully we did not have to swim through. Ryan decided he had enough of me and took the boat to leave me to fend for myself. There she is. Now, we start our ascent up the jagged rocks where I learned that leeches love to live. <laughs> just go, you'll be fine. They won't kill you. you just yeah. pick it off. Nicole is super worried about leeches currently. I didn't know they were here. This is just basically a straight up climb on all fours. Well, me for three. It's cool though, it's very slippery. And we have to climb using our hands on the wet rocks. Well, thankfully we have these handy dandy gloves. Sorry, you can them all, I don't mind. No, it's yeah. all this. Seems legit. Landscape changes here frequently, so you really never know what to expect. All right, so we're about four hours in. Is that about right? Three to four. Possibly. And we're going into a cave to have lunch. Our first Vietnamese cave, and we get to do my favorite thing, eat. So we at lunch, it was really good. They had tofu, which I was super happy about. They had vegetables, this rice paper, which in the Mekong, we actually saw how they made the rice paper, so it was really cool. And then they had this sauce that was like um, lime leaves, mm, chilies and garlic, I believe, and they mixed it all up and it was like this green paste and it made it so good. After lunch, our trekking guide found a leech on him. Still trying not to let my paranoia of leeches ruin the Vietnamese lunch in one of the largest cave systems in the world. Back to the hike. I'm definitely the most graceful person here, right? Right? My feet have never been so soaked in my life. So we've been hiking through some dense jungle all day today. It's rained on us quite a bit, but I feel like we're getting a true experience and really enjoying it so far. Soaking wet, of course. <laughs> Ew! Confidence is apparently key. We made it to the tent. We made it! <laughs> oh, wow. This camp by the river looks like we'll finally get to get dry, at least for a little bit. All right, we are finally here at our campsite. Yeah, it's been about four or five hours of hiking a day, maybe six. I'm not 100% sure when we left, but it was a long day in the rain. Yeah, but you know what? The jungle kind of like protected you from some of the rain, so it was actually kind of cool. We didn't quite think that the first few minutes, but after a while, it was really nice. Oh my gosh, right when we pulled out, it was just pouring, getting drenched. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't even worth it wearing a raincoat, but beautiful <laughs> views the whole time. Yeah, and uh, the jungle here is amazing. 
We're only halfway through, but. Yeah, we're gonna go see a cave. Yeah, we got a cool cave coming up. <laughs> Another boat? Well, flotation type of boat. We're all super clean. We just have to agree to be one with the mud at this point. Luckily, we got these pretty stylish helmets for our journey to the Toulon Cave. Not only for safety within the caves, but honestly, it's great for hiking up these slippery rocks. I'm not sure if my neurologist would be very pleased right now since it's been less than a year since my emergency brain surgery. Toulon Cave can be entered from the river we are floating on or by getting off and hiking above it, which is what we did. Once you're inside, you're actually walking on an area just above the river below you. You can't even tell, to be honest. Our guide pointed out some areas that they roped off that could potentially collapse down to the river below. It's up to the guides to continually monitor the caves through treks for the safety of all visitors. It's another reason why you're really you're not allowed to track this jungle without a seasoned guide. It's really hard work uh, holding the paddle. Let's go take a shower. Jungle style. Ah, it's so cold! Look at it. It's cold! The jungle! Oh my god! You think it'd be so hot in the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's 7 a.m. We're about we're getting up now in our tent. It was a pretty good sleep. Nicole's still sleeping. I'll show you a quick tent overview so you have an idea of how it is. So you have the pillow. It's actually made of foam and it just has like uh, this thick material on the outside. It's actually pretty comfortable. This tarp is pretty thin actually. Uh, and you also had uh, this sleeping bag. There's one for each person. Uh, I didn't use it at all to be honest with you. So overall, I'll give it a six out of 10 just because it was really dry. And uh, after hiking all day, I was so tired, it really didn't matter what I slept on. <laughs> all right, so bathroom tour. We have made out of tarp. You come in, you have some toilet paper, a composting toilet, and then you have this frame here to keep it from sinking in. I'm not gonna show you inside the composting toilet, but one thing that's cool is to prevent the smell, you have rice shells. And they said it's great for composting. So you just take it, you throw it in, you cover it up, and then so once they get done, they will compost it. But not a bad setup for literally in the middle of a jungle. Bye bye tent, until next time. Ken Cave was by far the most impressive of all the caves we saw on our trek. Getting there deep in the jungle kind of makes you wonder how anyone ever found it. Once you scramble down into the cave itself, you quickly get a feeling for how massive it is versus the others. One unique thing about this cave was the beautiful coral filling on the floors. Can you believe it was completely under the sea at one point? Crazy! So, have you ever tried to be on a duck in a cave? So this next cave is five minutes from the tent. <laughs> what do you got to say, Nicole? I don't know, I just wanted to be here. <laughs> There are so many incredible caves in this area, and not everything is discovered either. I'm struggle busting it right now. Having a good time, struggle busting it. We're headed to Kim Cave, and Kim Cave got its name from a Dutch tourist named Kim, <laughs> go figure, who is on a similar trek as ours. He wandered away from the campsite and stumbled upon its entrance. Our guide said, any cave that's not named, if you find it, well, then you can have it named after you so cool. He guessed there was close to a hundred still out there that no one has even found yet. Next up, Nicole Cave? But one unique thing about this cave was the massive spider we saw. 
Our guide told us these spiders prey on other spiders and insects to get food and they never leave the cave. Talk about terrifying. I'd hate to have one of these jump on me. Money Cave is the newest addition to the Trek itinerary and we got to give some feedback on our thoughts. The toughest part was actually getting into the cave itself. We had to suck in all of our food from the night before just to squeeze in. <laughs> focus, 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 focus. Man, this one's tight. Oh my God. Ow! My, you hit your knee again. Oh, my toe. Oh my God, it so bad. Pick it up. You need help? No, I don't need help. Thank you, though. Looks like you're crawling up a wall. All right. Go. Once inside, Ryan tried to match our new German friend in hanging from a ledge. Do it again. And failed miserably. Do it again. He swears it was just his wet hands, but let's be real. Walking through this cave was different than any other cave we went through. It was flooded, so we had to wade in water, sometimes up to our waist to get to the back of the cave. The cave didn't necessarily end where we turned around. There's a small gap just large enough to squeeze through, but on some prior expeditions, our guide told us that there were some poisonous snakes in there and they entered from another entrance, so we all quickly turned around. So finished up our third cave. We are headed back to the boat. Very cool. Very fun. He talks about being, um, through the whole time, was trying to keep your feet dry, but it's just impossible. Yeah. Jungle rot or foot rot is easy to get here, that's for sure. Yeah, you won't get it from two days. But... Yeah, not from two days, but he said after like six to eight of being in the jungle, he got it really bad, our guide. So yeah, but you, can even you gotta get be careful. It up to four days. You can get it as fast as four days, according to Nicole. And she's a doctor. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Feeling the speed? <laughs> I think we basically just kind of finished it. We just got to walk back now. But like, oh, I know, kind of like, sad. I'm also wet. We're just so. covered in mud, <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm happy to be done. But then again, I really enjoyed it. I could so. have done another night. Yeah. I don't know if I would want any more than that, but another night would have been really cool. Oh my gosh, I just stink. All right, so we are finishing up our two day, one night, overnight trek. jungle hike trek. Thank you. <laughs> in Fanyan National Park. What'd you think? It was really cool. Um, it was wet, it was muddy. Oh my gosh, you're so muddy right now. It's hard <laughs> to tell. But bad. Nicole's just rolling around like a pig, <laughs> or should I say water buffalo, given water where buffalo? we're at. It so, would you recommend it? 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay. As long as you're okay with getting dirty and having a good time. The food was great, the whole thing was great. The amenities were good considering we're in the middle of a jungle. 10 out of 10 recommend. Be cool to get dirty and yeah, that's all I got to say. Yep, just expect to get muddy. Oh, we got a lot of stuff coming out, so stay tuned. Woo! <laughs>